What's up you guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another video. Now in this one I want to talk about something that's insanely important. There have been so many people that have asked me about the journey, not only to crypto, but also to stacking up wealth beyond what crypto is. And when you make your millions of dollars in a certain area, what do you do with it? Right? If someone like pawned something, right? Let's say you you have this million dollar item and you decide to pawn something and you decide to pawn that and you get the million dollars or close to it or whatever and you have a lot of money, what do you then do with it? Do you go and spend it and just live life to the fullest? Or do you set yourself up to where now your life can be a little bit better? And I think there's a mixture of things, right? Um, you already have certain things that you own, right? Your house, maybe your your car and you have loans on it. And there's different things you could do there, but also you want to set yourself up for success so that you don't ever have to work again, or you don't have to uh, adhere to this job that you don't like, and you could do something that you really like. And I think that's where this kind of stems from is because I received a, a comment saying that they wanted to be a millionaire because they didn't want to work again. And I don't think that's necessarily what they meant. I think it's, they don't want to work at the place that they're working now. They want to do what they want to do. And if they want to work, <clears throat> they want to do something that maybe doesn't provide as much income as this other job, but still is amazing for you to get up and, and you feel uh, your life feels uh, fulfilled and you feel as though it's uh, a better day every day by waking up and doing something that you love, whether it's working out, whether it's making videos, whether it's playing basketball for a living, it doesn't matter <clears throat> what you love to do. Um, would be great for you to be able to do that and spend time with your kids and, and all of that stuff, right? So with that being said, um, what's my 10-year plan? My 10-year plan for, you know, after I make my millions with cryptocurrency. Now, this may be a little bit different because I I have a lot uh, elsewhere. I have places in, I have things in, uh, in the stock market, in my uh, Roth IRA, um, in my 401k rollover and, you know, just all of these different things that I, I have as retirement accounts. <clears throat> and my plan uh, should maybe give you some ideas on what you may want to do with your crypto millions. So guys, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to uh, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, those links are in the description. And don't forget about my link for Margex. If you guys are interested in trading on Margex, you can trade up to a 100x leverage on BTC. You can trade as little as 5x leverage, as little as a dollar, and you can make a lot of money by investing a small amount if you know what you're doing and understand the risks that are associated with it. So feel free to check out my link for Margex at the top of the description. Now, let's have a a detailed discussion about what my plan is. Um, I currently have about 200,000 that's sitting in my crypto account, right? Or all accounts, let's say. Um, and I stand to make multiple millions of dollars from this as long as I do play it out the right way, <clears throat> as long as I do let this this ride for, for a certain period of time throughout this bull market. Honestly, this bull market, I can make a lot. Ultimately, I expect to make a lot more than that as we go forward. But I think first we need to understand what's going to happen in the next, you know, maybe two years rather than what's going to happen in the next 10 years. We're going to see a bull market, a bear market, a bull market, maybe another bear market as well. And maybe even get to that next bull market in the next 10 years or so, right? Um, and... When you see that, you have to understand when we're at highs, you take the profit. When we're at lows, you decide to make some investments at those areas, right? If you decided to do that in the last bull market uh, to where you sold and then you bought in at the, the bear market and then now you're even at a way higher price than where you were before, you have to understand there are methods to this. For me, what I'm going to do is I have a certain amount of forever coins that will always sit in there but I will also have a certain amount of short-term coins, which are the same coins, but it's just a, a different set of coins that I'm going to trade more consistently, right? 
and more or less create a swing trade out of it. Um, so when I invest in, let's say XRP at a level of 30 cents and it goes up to a value of $10 or $20 or hundred dollars, and I decide to sell a portion of it, not all of it, but a portion as we go along, when it gets back down to lower levels, when we figure out what that new low is going to be, because it's going to be higher than the previous low, but it's when we figure out what that new low is going to be, then I decide to buy again. So that's gonna be the method that I go about with uh, cryptocurrency, but let's just say over this next um, you know, two years, three years or whatever, I gain $2 million, $3 million, let's say. Well, we're gonna to have to understand that I'm gonna to have to pay taxes, some long-term capital gains tax, some short-term capital gains tax. Hopefully we don't have unrealized uh, gains get taxed as well, but that's a whole nother conversation. Um, with that being said, that means that I have about $1.5 million. Know that if I can find a way to get my dividend portfolio, which is a way that I get paid at somewhere around 3% or so, 3% to 5% um, in dividends every single month or every year overall, I would love to get that to a million dollars. That's one of my largest plans is to make sure that this dividend portfolio gets to a million dollars and that I can have a free cash flow from that dividend portfolio of about $2,000 to $3,000. If you want more information on this, I can definitely break it down on my Matthew Perry 2 channel for you guys. I do a bunch of stuff. I can link that like in the cards or the description or something. Um, so that is one of the main portions of my plan, right? So $1 million or so of that 1.5 will go here. Um, I will have about another 100 to $200,000 that I decide to reinvest into um, cryptocurrency again as we hit a bear market. So it might not happen right away, but it will be put aside for newer positions, newer opportunities in the crypto market and more long-term opportunities to extend my forever balance. Um, and then I will have another 300,000 that I decide to do with whatever I want with. Now, that 300,000, most likely, if I can't find a difference in the percentage that I'm gaining over here with my dividend portfolio and my long-term portfolios, um, then what I have, what I'm paying in my um, my interest on my, my home, I would just pay my home off so I don't have to worry about that cost and all I have to do is worry about the taxes. Now, it all depends on how close we are in the gains that we receive over time. Now, it feels great to kind of limit or lower expenses, but you can also gain a ton out of that 200 or some odd thousand dollars that you could put into, let's say, um, an index fund that can gain you an average of 10%. And if you're gaining 10% on uh, $100,000, that's $10,000 you know, that you are gaining there at that 10%. So $20,000 per year that you can add on to that. So if it takes you a long time, will that will that $20,000 be worth so much more than what you can save in interest? Probably, right? This is every single year. So if you're talking about another 15 years to pay this off or 10 years to pay this off, let's make it easy. That's another $200,000 that you're gaining there. Most likely you're only gonna pay about $150,000 extra in in interest. So um, first thing that I'm doing is funding my dividend portfolio as much as I can um, to a million dollars or or so. Then I would like to move over to investing or seeing what opportunities are in crypto. If there's nothing, I will let it sit aside in like a high interest savings account until I find those opportunities. Um, then I will go and pay off um, the mortgage if it seems like it's right to do. Um, and then I will decide to take the extra, I think it's like 100 or 200,000 that is sitting there after maybe the mortgage is paid off and I will find opportunities in the stock market um, that may be more uh, shorter term um, as well as donate to charities. Uh, I feel as though uh, I've been given a lot and I want to find a way to give back. I donate to No Kid Hungry and I would love to continue to donate to No Kid Hungry. Um, I just received uh, 10 coupons from Popeyes, which I didn't think I would get 10. I thought I would get one. 
for a free apple pie. I got 10 free apple pies now because I donated, you know, $10 to No Kid Hungry. They asked for every dollar that you, or they said when you donate a dollar, you know, you would get a free coupon for apple pie. I didn't think they would give me 10. So I was just like, can I donate that much? Because I typically donate to No Kid Hungry. I really like that, um, you know, charity because I was a child that was hungry and I would have loved to have had something that can help me out and you know just to donate overall to children getting fed i i will take that nine times out of ten so that's really my plan and it doesn't stop there because i do plan on making more than that in the crypto market but there may be other levels to this because in the next five years after that you know you may have another bull market that now rises this to a way higher level. You have so much more that's in here. You're gaining millions upon millions of dollars. I don't need that much, but I know that I wanna set myself up for life. So the best case scenario for me is to take this dividend portfolio, invest into things that I believe will have uh, consistent growth um, year over year over year, and maybe over the next five or 10 years, it'll have that consistent growth. And I will just consistently gather dividends from it in the beginning stages if i'm making enough everywhere else and i don't need to take from that i'm not going to i'm just going to let it compound because getting an extra three thousand dollars in dividends per month plus maybe even the eight to ten percent or five to ten percent that you can gain in the overall balance i'll take that any day of the week we're talking about three thousand dollars per month here and over the year you can gain somewhere around let's say a hundred thousand dollars off of that million dollars that you have there so you know a total of let's just say one hundred and thirty six thousand dollars in a year for dividends plus the overall gains at a potential max i'll take that any day of the week meaning that next year it'll be at a 1.1 uh million dollar uh, account then it'll be at a 1.2 million dollar account 1.3 million dollar account gaining one hundred thousand dollars every single year plus the dividend portfolio i'm looking for consistency i'm looking for longevity i'm looking for not uh, the ability to teach my children about what's going on here so that they can continue this and also continue to teach their children about that right that's what it's all about so Make sure you have your 10 year plan set. I know it's not fully in stone because you don't know how much you're truly going to make, but I know of what I wanna get these accounts to and how much I wanna generate from these accounts when they do hit those levels. So let me know your 10 year plan. Where do you see your uh, crypto accounts being? Uh, do you have any that you plan on holding forever and gaining uh, compound um, interest off of, right? Because we also have CRO that I plan on holding forever. And if I can get that up to $400,000 worth of value or $40,000 worth of value, I can gain so much off of that, each CRO that I have and each CRO that's staked, right? So that's also another level to that. And I hope that in the end, that we'll end up having an ETF that pays a dividend, which would come from the uh, the staked percentages that are that are being paid out. Uh, for what they are holding and it gets paid out to different investors through this ETF, that would be fantastic. But in in due time, right? So hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel for Marjex, Twitter, Patreon, all of those things. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.